What's up guys, NBA Talk, November 22nd, 2017, Wednesday basketball for you, we got a couple good ones, like, we got things to talk about tonight, for sure, we got, this is a eventful night for us, people, and this is before Thanksgiving, so, thank you already, uh, like, for good helping for uh, basketball, you know, just, it was just very interesting, very interesting storylines tonight. So we're going to start things off immediately with the Cavaliers who have been on a good stretch. Like they've been in controversy with their losing. Their defense absolutely suck. But they've been getting themselves back together. They've been on a good, good stretch, man. And a win, this win tonight really pushes them up to the top. Like they're starting, they're really starting to build steam tonight. Um... Cavaliers win against the Brooklyn Nets, which I think it really all started with them. Like the loss to the Brooklyn Nets really amped up the controversy of everybody looking at them like, you lost to the Brooklyn Nets? Even though the Brooklyn Nets have been competitive this season, especially when they went up against the Warriors, like they did not want to lose. And it could have been a chance that they could have won. Um,. But the Cavaliers lost to them, and the controversy started with that. Um, the media was all over them, but looks like they avenged their win, uh, their loss to the Brooklyn Nets. So the Cavaliers win one nineteen to one hundred nine. That was the score. Um, the Cavaliers. You had LeBron James being efficient in his scoring. I think this is his best efficient scoring of his career like I know he's averaging 50 plus from the field and 40% from the three-point range which is not normal for LeBron James because he's not comfortable that much in the three-point line but this season this is his most comfortable three-point shooting I've ever seen him do he's taking more threes which is phenomenal this is good and this will also preserve his career in case like, he can't run down the court and slam it down in the paint. He needs to learn how to shoot. This is the right direction for LeBron James. And he he's become efficient. He has really become efficient. His free throw shooting has become a little bit much better. I think he's still in the 80s. So that's absolutely good. He shot pretty good from the free throw line too. So excellent work. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just get into the stats already because we got a lot to do. LeBron James with 33 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 11 from 17 from the field, 4 for 7 from the 3-point range, 4 3-pointers. So that's some good stuff from LeBron James. Um, also having Jose Calderon in the lineup was a good, easy break for LeBron James. When he only played 33 minutes. If you... That is good minutes. That is absolutely good minutes for LeBron James. Not having him average like 40 minutes per game. Like have him on the court for so long. Like keep those minutes down. Having someone who could play the ball, who can do playmaking, is good for LeBron James. It's great for LeBron James. And Jose Calderon is doing that. He only played for 20 minutes. Five points, two assists, but his impact on the floor is pretty good. Um, Crowder, he's starting to gel. He's starting to become more consistent. 14 points in 26 minutes. He made three three-pointers. Kevin Love, the second best productive player. 18 points, 10 rebounds, three assists. Fantastic. J.R. Smith, he sucks. Only three points and four attempts. Dwayne Wave with 18 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. Excellent in 28 minutes. Uh, Kyle Culver, 12 points in 28 minutes. He made two three-pointers. Um, Channing Fry with 9 points. Jeff Green with 5 points. So production coming off the bench is there. So Channing Fry, Jeff Green, Dwayne Wade, and Kyle Culver are the rotation going on for them. Well, they're going to still have to wait until Isaiah Thomas 
and Derrick Rose come back. That's when we can really see what they can do. Kyle Lerone is a good player. He's a good veteran. But we definitely need that explosiveness from um, Isaiah Thomas or Dwayne, um, Derrick Rose for the point guard position. So they could create opportunities for everybody else. So this is a good practice. They need to get themselves together. And then with Isaiah Thomas coming back soon, that will be good. So 51% from the three-point range, 41% from the three-point range. Oh, wait, 51% from the field, 41% from the three-point range, 33 rebounds, 21 assists, 10 turnovers only, which is good stuff. So the Cavaliers go 11-7, 5-4 at home. I believe this is their sixth win in a row, which is fantastic for them. Uh, Brooklyn Nets fall 6-11. and 11. Uh, They don't have uh, D'Angelo Russell. Le uh, Jeremy Lin is out for the season. So there is, there is not really anybody other than Alan Crabb who used to be efficient in the scoring. We don't know that anymore anymore. Well, he played good tonight. But I don't see any person from this roster who is consistent enough to uh, to be a contributing factor for this team. So this is just a bunch of random players, basically. So, but they 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 play tough though. The Warriors game got me pumped. Like okay, they had the mentality. I think they're coach they're coached pretty good. So I would keep the coach for a long term until they could get their team together. So that's it. Cavaliers are up. They're they're on a good stretch. They're coming back. So peace out.